there, this is Nova. Welcome to the Singer Featherweight Tip of the Month. This month I want to visit with you about a growing problem that I'm seeing with Singer Featherweight 221 machines. I'm seeing more and more damage to the electrical cords on Singer Featherweights. I believe that this is because we have changed how we are sewing. When I'm at home, I use my sewing table, most likely near a wall, like this original Singer Featherweight card table and I plug my electrical cords into the machine and then I go down to the wall. There's no problem here. My electrical cords are nice and safe. But most of us are sewing more often with friends at quilting bees and quilting retreats. When we are in a multi-use multi sewing situation, power cords are typically centrally located so that we can all share. Depending upon where you are seated, your cords could be in danger. Notice what happens when I go to plug my machine into this power source. Look at the path of my cords. Look at the path of my electrical cords. If I'm not very, very careful, my cords will rub up against the motor belt. If the cords are touching the belt when the motor is running, the friction will rub through the insulation on the cords, resulting in bare wires very, very quickly. Look at the cords on this white Singer Featherweight. Do you see the V-shaped groove cut into the insulation here and here? And the copper wires are exposed here. This happened because the motor belt was rubbing the wires. If you'll look, you can see that that notch fits perfectly into the belt. These wires are now dangerous and they need to be replaced. You should examine your wiring often. Look for exposed wires like we see here. The most important thing is keeping you safe. Your featherweight cannot sew without you. Also, think about a grandchild or a pet touching that while it was plugged in at home. The best solution is always prevention. That is, carefully choose the path that your electrical wires take on their way to the power source. So what is the solution if you have bare spots on your wires? There are several options. I carry the wires in my online shop. You can order them through the website, novamontgomery.com, and install them on your foot controller. It's a pretty easy thing to do. As a free service, I will install the wires for you if you purchase them from me and ship me the foot controller. You will, of course, have to pay for shipping with this option. These two options are good, but you lose the original Singer Bakelite plug that has that S, that Singer S. It's called the S plug because it has that S on it. It was original on the original cords. So the new cord set comes with a built-in rubber plug. It works fine, but you do lose this original plug. I prefer to reattach this original Singer Bakelite S plug to the new cord set. This option is a bit more expensive because of the labor involved in putting this plug on the new cord set. But it keeps the original look of the machine. And the original plug is a little bit more uh, easier for to plug in and to unplug for those of us who have arthritis in our hands. I do not recommend that you try to put the original plug on the new cords yourself or let your husband try. There are lots of small parts inside this plug that must line up correctly and at the same time for it to go back together. It's time consuming and requires patience. Most of the time when folks try it on their own parts are broken or lost and I wind up with parts shipped to me in a baggie. If your cords need to be replaced and you don't have an original Singer Bakelite S-plug, I can supply that for you as well. Rewiring the white Singer Featherweight is a bit more complicated because these machines are hardwired. They do not have a plug that goes into the machine. The wires from the foot controller and the wall plug are permanently crimped in place. It's a bit more complicated, but it can be done. I would be happy to help you with this, but I must have the entire machine to do this rewire. Again, the main thing is to keep you safe. Take the time to examine your electrical cords. Make sure there's no bare wire anywhere. 
and take the time to route them carefully so that they will not be rubbing the motor belt when you are sewing and when you plug in your machine. Visit my website, novamontgomery.com, for all your featherweight needs. Happy stitching!